Should you do a dopamine detox? What is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter which is in the brain. It sends a reward chemical to your brain. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel amazing. It makes you feel wow. For instance, if you are about to mate with somebody or if you're about to watch pornography, if you're about to game, if you're about to eat food, it's a reward chemical in your brain that is released to feel good and you feel so good and then you feel rewarded by it and you're like, wow, 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 wow. But then here's the problem. Your brain says one more, one more, one more, one more. And that one more can lead to 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, your whole life. And it can actually come in the way of a lot of things such as, for instance, you're scheduled to do something else today, study, or you want to make a YouTube video or you want to do something else. I don't know. But you're feeling lack of motivation, you're feeling down, you're feeling emotional. Then dopamine is released to say, yo, there's a reward if you do this. Then you pick up the phone, you call Domino's or Pizza Hut or Nando's or Deliveroo and you're like, guys, deliver that. Then you eat it. <sniffs> dopamine. Wow, I feel so good. And you feel better after junk food. That's what it does. That's exactly what it does with everything else. Should you go on a dopamine detox? Yes and no. Yes, because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. Um, it can work. It does like change your way of thinking because remember you're introducing change into your life. Any type of introduction of change to your life will be a change. Simple as, you know, you're stopping social media, you're stopping all your reward systems, um, eating junk food, you're stopping, your, you're putting your phone to the side, um, you're basically starving your brain from all these things that give you that reward, then obviously, yes, certain change will come. But here's my problem with it. You've gone on that detox for 30 days, 40 days, or a month, or however long you want to do it, but then you come back into the world. You understand, like, around you is going to be the junk food, around you will be the phone, you know. You're back to it, you understand? And when it clicks off again, you're getting likes again, and your dopamine's going, wow, I'm getting likes, I'm getting likes, I'm getting views. That's dopamine release. And it's like, wow, I'm getting that, I'm getting that. And someone goes, hey, here, have my pizza. Whoa, this feels amazing. Then what happens? You're back to square one again. There has to be, you know what, I always fail a dopamine detox, 99% of people probably fail a dopamine detox because the reward is too much, like the 1% club is the 1% club because they passed that, you know, they, they've learned to master the skill of, I don't care about that reward fee no more, I'm just going to do my job, you know, but um, yeah, there's, I think it is worth doing, but you're going to have to stick to it more and more. Don't let it, if you're going to do it, do it, but don't let it drop afterwards because then you'll be back to square one again. So I personally believe, yes, do the dopamine detox, but, but, but make sure you stick to it after as well. So do it, carry on and then change your habits so that you don't just jump back on social media after and you're back to square one again. Change your habit to say, right, I'm going to put my phone down again. I'm going to come off social media again. Or I'm going to do it this way. I'm not going to eat junk. Um, I'm going to, you know, find a way. But yeah, guys, I'm such the motive. They motivate you. Dopamine is the foundation of motivation. So stay motivated. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Over and out.